Hello everybody. It's been a while since I put a video on, but uh, I'm going to put this one on. Because it's something that's like completely beyond words awesome. Over the last few years, I've heard my name being called in the early morning hours, waking me up from my sleep. And each time, I didn't know who it was. Uh, it was a masculine voice. It was stern, but yet it was a gentle voice. And it spoke perfectly clear, very understandable. And not until I read the scripture of 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 4 through 9, which I believe God led me to that, so I know who it was. Until I seen that, I didn't realize who it was that was calling my name. But now that I know, it was the Almighty God Himself actually calling my name. Uh, when I realized it was our Lord actually calling me, I, I instantly just was in tears, just tears of joy, just to know that our our Father was calling me and actually speaking to me in an audible voice. And each time it was loud enough, it woke me up from a sound sleep. Uh, so I've prayed to the Lord since then and told him, now I know your voice. And any other things he wants to speak to me, I will, I will acknowledge him who it is this time. And ask that, and I asked him before, you know, I asked him in prayers that, you know, to contact me again, and and I'd be more than happy to uh, speak with him and have and listen to him, have him speak with me, or and do whatever he wants me to do. So, anyways. God does speak in an audible voice. His sheep will hear him. So, put your trust in Jesus Christ. You know, uh, you know, accept what he did for us. Accept it with an open heart and full belief. And live the way he tells you to live. And, and the Heavenly Father, the way he tells us to live. Live the way they say. And I'm not saying that everybody will hear his voice. But I'd say there's a pretty good chance you will. So I just wanted to put this on there. Let you guys know that yes, God does speak in an audible voice. Although there are other ways he speaks to us also. So there was one other time he also spoke to me. And I thought, I thought someone was in the house. There was nobody in here. It was just me. In the house here. I thought somebody was outside. There was nobody outside. There was nobody in the house. And I was sitting in my reclining chair. And I was kind of napping. And, and it woke me up. The voice behind me kind of like alar alarmed me. And I woke up. And uh, what the voice said was, No one touches you but me. Then I said a prayer. You know, I was like, who said that? I really want to know who said that. It's real important to me. I want to know who said that. You know, and, and I prayed that. And that very evening, the next night when I went to go to sleep, as soon as I fell asleep, instantly, just that very moment, I had a vision. I was in my bedroom and I looked over and on my bed was a white pillow. Real bright white pillow. And there was something laying on a pillow. So I walked over and looked at it. And I reached down and I picked up. It was about 8 inches tall. And it was a solid gold cross. With huge diamonds all over the front of it. I mean these, these diamonds are probably every bit of 3 8 inches across. I mean they were huge diamonds. And it's really, really, really pretty cross. So, but yeah, he speaks to us in dreams. He audibly speaks to us. He speaks to us in subtle voices. He speaks to a lot, a lot of ways. But 
Anyways, he does speak to us, and he, he does and can and and speak to us in an audible voice. It's like beyond awesomely amazing, like so cool. Well, I just wanted to put that out there and uh, keep up your faith. Keep up your belief in the Lord Jesus Christ and His Father, Heavenly Father. <clears throat> and put your trust in Him and what Jesus did for us. And they will take care of you. Well, I love you all. You're all my brothers and sisters. God bless all of you. And, uh, and, uh, and I'll just talk to you uh, next time when I get another video to put on. So long for now.